<laughs> oh, it's so cold. <laughs> well, maybe I should put my thicker gloves on. My fingers are quite cold already. <laughs> oh, it's a bit boggy. I was hoping the ground would be like gummy. Oh, that's bloody go mountain biking. Oh, max brightness. Here we go then. Ho oh, ho, hello and welcome back to more mountain bike content on this channel. I've not made a mountain bike video in quite some time. Uh, but I thought I'd make another one. I thought, you know, let's just do a commentary over it. Because why not, eh? Jump. Oh, there you are. Little jump. I'm trying to balance my commentary here with uh, not... Oh, it's so boggy. See? Interrupting myself. Oh, I thought I was going to talk just then, but I just gasped. I'm looking at the audio, like, wave pattern on the timeline in my video editing software. Hence why I tried to anticipate me talking just then. This trail is called Frank Tankini. And, uh... That's all I have to say about that. You guys may have noticed, the more uh, observational of you may have noticed about that everything's quite dark because I went riding at night because it is currently January when everything is dark. After uh, We went after work. We usually go mountain biking after work. Me and Dom, my riding buddy, and our friend Johnny, who occasionally joins us, um, we usually go after work. And after work, and... Oh, I didn't say anything again. <laughs> uh, after work right now means that uh, everything is pitch black. So we've got our exposure lights and we're going to go night riding. So that's what I'm doing in this video. And uh, I hope you enjoy the next however long this... Wow, it's a long old video this. I just zoomed out on the timeline in the video editor and it's a long one. But I hope you'll enjoy it. I mean, I've, I've already edited the clips down to like what I hope to be the final video. So I kind of already knew that, but... And, I, and that's why I thought yeah, I'll do some commentary oh. over it. Ooh. If both our lights would suddenly just die, I'd be quite scared. <laughs> you see, I, I paused. Yeah, I'll want to stop at the top of Vazanea. Just bless some air out, but I'll leave them at Pumped Up for now. You see, I was talking about how my tight. Shout out if I'm too close. Yeah, you see, I was talking about the fact that I uh, recently serviced my bike. I uh, topped up the, uh, s s the sealant, the tubeless sealant inside the tyres so I don't get punctures. Because last time I did it was about June, which was about six months ago, so probably about time for a new set of sealant in the tyres. And that's that's it, actually. This is a line. This is a line. I think it's called like a mini oh, jump it? line. Oh, there you go. I thought that was a bigger drop than that. Yeah, I thought so too, because uh, we're the same person. <laughs> I probably should let some air out. What pressures have you got them on? I put them at about 25, just because that's what I usually do when I top up the fluid. Smile. <laughs> Your fluid? <clears throat> no, much of the pressure. That feels good. What do you think of the feeling of that? Does that feel alright? I've got sealant on my gloves now. <sighs> oh, my beautiful clean bike. Oh, that's definitely a lot better, yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited. Let's go. So after I was rudely interrupted by myself, uh, as I was saying, yes, I recently serviced my bike. Doesn't which sound as cool coming out of a Cornish man's voice. Okay, there we go. Am I quite finished? Am I quite finished? Shred the bro. I think that's it. There we go. So this trailer is called Vazinator. Oh, no, I'm going to finish the tangent I was on. I recently topped up the tubeless sealant of my mountain bike and just checked a few things like talked to the bolts and all that and nothing major and uh yeah i was pretty hyped this is the first time i've ridden this bike in uh about a month actually i was very hectic towards the end of december and then up until now in january it's always been too rainy to go out so this is the first time for a while i've been able to go out on this bike so i was pretty excited and i think i'm about to talk again. into the unknown then oh yes see i'm referencing the fact that this is a trail i've done before this is bazinator but dom uh said that he'd found a new line on it so I said, okay, let's do it. So we're doing the new line now that I've never done. And this is how it went. <laughs> Where are we yeah, going? Yeah, got lost. <laughs> it, 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 to me, it, to, to Dom's... You lost the trail. To Dom's credit, it is harder to find your way at night 
I've done trails I've done. We're going to get killed by the Slender Man. Exactly. I've done trails I've done a million times in the past at night and got lost. So, you know, no, no one's to blame here. <laughs> and look at this. Look at this thing. Oh, my God. That's quite steep, isn't it? Yeah. It's terrible, the GoPro. It makes it look not very steep. What was it? <laughs> what is it? Is it like a bomb? What? Is it? This looks like a bomb crater, doesn't it? It does look like a bomb crater. Yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like that would form naturally. Obviously, I have no idea what I'm talking about, but exactly, I really don't. But it does feel like a bomb crater, and I looked at my bike ride on Strava after the fact. And I'm sure that this line that we did, I'm now opening Strava on my phone just to check. Because I'm pretty sure that the line we just did on Strava has got a specific name. And this, the name of this segment uh, is like bomb hole or something. Um, let's just... Uh, yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, shit. Nearly fell off. I know where we are. <laughs> Can't find it on my segments. But I, I'm sure it was like called Race to Bomb Hole or something like that, so... Uh, huh? Yeah. So Don went the wrong Selfish. way again. So uh, I, I then overtook and selfishly started leading the ride again because I realised I was at a point in the trail where I recognised where I was and I could lead us into the... Oh, puddle. Into the puddle and also into the known. Not into the unknown, into the known. So not as epic sounding, but yeah. I don't know. Do you like? Do you guys like this hybrid commentary sort of thing? I really like the ASMR sound of the mountain bike tires on the on the mud and the gravel as we descend. So uh, yeah, but there's lots of twists and turns in this commentary. I know I'm down here. It is down here. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. You see, have faith. Have faith, Matt, in yourself. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of twists and turns, not just like literal ones on mountain bike trails, but also. There's a few crashes. I'm now sitting here doing this commentary a couple of days later and my hand is quite painful. I'm a bit worried I've broken something. So, hey, more console KSP content coming up if that's the case. But uh, I also hope I don't because Kerbal Space Program 2 comes out soon and I don't want to be having my hand in a cast for that release date. So I'm a bit anxious right now. Oh, oh. no regret. So I might just refrain from doing mountain bike riding for a bit. <laughs> in these now critical weeks of my internet career <laughs> whilst Kerbal Space Man 2 is about to come out. Yeah. I thought I was going to say something, but I just said hoa. But I mean, yeah, this is the GoPro effect in full, you know, force. It's, uh, it looks uh, way shallower than it is in real life. See if it falls off. It, 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 that was a very steep trail. You know, that's probably the steepest trail you're going to see in this video. And, uh, Bit scary. Skiddy that bit, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. And it looks, it looks rubbish. <laughs> All right, I'm trusting you to turn off at the right time because I know I wouldn't. <laughs> this is the trail where I thought I'd broken my hand. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I'm now watching the video with you guys. Oh, fucking hell, man. I'm in my top gear now. <laughs> I talked over myself just then. Or I talked over Dom, I should say, but he, he forgot to unlock his fork. Apparently, it was his excuse for stopping dead on the trail just then. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, the trail in which I punched a tree inadvertently with my right hand and now I'm worried I've given myself a boxer's fracture. It's like a fifth metacarpal oh, bone, I think. And I'm worried I've broken that. So uh, yeah, hopefully I haven't. Hopefully it's just a soft tissue injury. But yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit achy, a bit painful, my hand at the moment. But anyway, this trail is called Blair Witch. I thought I was going to say something, but it was just a peak in the audio for some reason. It's a bit of an it's a bit of an XC sort of trail. It's all downhill, obviously, but like it's still. Oh shit! I'm okay. <laughs> Submerged roots. What are you going to do? A little root under that puddle. Exactly. All squeaky brakes. Yeah, this trail is called Blair Witch. It's a bit of a more an XC sort of trail. Well, a little root at the bottom of that puddle. <laughs> just reiterating what I just said in the commentary. But yeah, it's more of an XC trail, a bit of a cross country sort of uh, exploration through the oh. woods. Woods? Woods. I went a bit northern. Sort yourself out. 
So, um, yeah, it's uh, not that exciting, not very fast, so I'm not a huge fan of this trail, but it's kind of fun to do occasionally at night with the lights. Proper spooky, right? Okay. Oh, it's called Blair Witch at the end of the day, so <laughs> you've got an obligation to do it at night. And, uh, yeah, there we are. If anyone asks, by the way, my bike is a Nuke Proof Reactor 2022 Carbon Edition, wow. and the lights... Oh, some animals. Oh no, I'm about to hit my hand. Here we go. Oh no, this is it. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. Now, did I hear a click or is that just me? Oh, I just bashed a tree. Like, can you guys watch that back and let me know? I feel like... Oh, I've got to catch up to him now. Yeah. Oh. Can you hear the owls in the background, by the way? That's quite cool. Yeah. Was that... I hope the click was like a, uh, a branch snapping. <sighs> But oh, I'm worried it was... I bashed a tree. I know, yeah, I'm a bit worried. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's the... Uh, I'm always doing that on the show. Can I stop a second? Can I check my hand? It really hurts. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, I've cut my hand. Really? Yeah, it's fine. Right, shall we press on? Thing is, right, is that I didn't feel much pain now. I can still... How exciting. I can still use the handlebars and all that. And... Let me know if I get too close. Last time I broke my hand, I had to drive myself to the mine injuries unit, and oh, what? Well, I'll uh, carry on this in a second. Yeah, I know. Okay, I think I'm safe to continue now. Yes, last time I broke my hand, I had to drive myself to the minor injuries unit because there's, like, no functional public transit in my city. Uh, uh, yeah, and it was absolute agony driving the car. Like, I, I couldn't grip the steering wheel without being in a lot of pain, basically. And I have since, since I did ah. this ride, I've cycled to work. Oh, nice and steady. There we go. Twice. And, oh, on, hit one again. and I've driven my car and it was all fine. So I'm hoping it's just a soft tissue injury, but uh, I'm still a little bit scared. God, oh, it's skiffy, it's slippy, aren't it? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, if anyone has the opportunity to do a night ride like this, it is really cool. Like, I feel like it looks way darker than it was in the video, which I know sounds a bit weird because the video is like, the camera doesn't lie. But I guess human eyes are a bit better at adapting to dark conditions than a camera's sensor is. You can see a lot more than the camera lets on. Like, I guess... Like, the field of view that you can see in this video, that's all I could see in real life. But it just felt like I could see more. I guess, I don't know, I've got that depth perception, wider field of view, visual field, I don't know. But it's uh, not as scary as it kind of looks in the video. But it is still kind of scary. So there you are. Whatever you got from that sentence, hopefully it made some sort of sense. And we can uh, move along and talk about the rest of this trail. Huh? This looks like it's been placed. Oh yeah, there's been a bit of an increase in booby traps Being on these trails. <laughs> uh, dog walkers don't like mountain bikers using these trails. I reckon someone put that there. Even though these trails were pretty much all built by mountain bikers and it's kind of accepted that they're mountain bike trails because there are walking trails as well. Kind of a shame. Mountain bike booby traps. Exactly. But anyway, let's move on. The reason we're even doing this trail, to be honest, guys, is because it's a super duper long trail and it kind of leads back to the bottom of the woods where these trails exist. Uh, we don't usually do this trail because it's kind of a slow, long, boring one, but we were meeting up with our friend and uh, he was coming up later on. So I'm like, let's do this long trail that takes us to the bottom of where these trails are and we might be able to meet him at the bottom. Turns out we didn't. We had to go back to the top and then he was at the trailhead, but that's the reasoning behind this. You'll get to meet Johnny, who's never appeared in one of these videos, in fact, before. Uh, he's way better at mountain biking than me and Dom are, and it's, uh, it's a shame because, uh, obviously, me and Dom got our big sort of brand new 29er full suspensions, and he's riding his 26 full suspension that he's cobbled together. It's such a cool bike. It's a little Franken bike, and uh, he shreds way better than us. So he's just recently bought a new e-bike. So now I guess he has the best bike, but he didn't have that with him today. There was something wrong with it or something. I'm not sure what. I can't remember. Now, guys, in addition to more, there's going to be more crashes in this video. Don't worry. And there's also going to oh, there's also going to be snow. It never snows where we are. We're in the southwest of England, Plymouth area. It never, ever snows here. I've lived here for eight years now, and it has snowed once. One time in 2017 for a day, and the whole city shut down. I've been down this way before. There we are. Um, but it snowed tonight, well, on the night that I filmed this video, only briefly, 
But I got to mountain bike in the. I got to mountain bike in the snow, and let me tell you guys, it was just magic. It was just magical. And uh, very cold. This whole video was very cold. Like my right foot was numb from the first trail. Oh, that last bit was minging. Yeah. It really was. Oh, I'm in the wrong gear. I really was. I got. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of cold, wet puddles, so I got my foot all numb. <laughs> oh, oh. you're growing some... It's not very aero, that, mate. Could be Frankie, yeah? We did that first. Frank's not for me to warm up on. Yeah. We're going straight in? Well, there you are. I was talking about this trail, and now we're going to do it. There were a lot of puddles, deep puddles. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, my foot got very wet and cold. I was worried I had trench foot, which uh, wouldn't make sense because trench foot takes a long time to set in, but yeah. And I was on a really good run. I was leading the pack. I was doing a really fast run. I felt super good about this. And then my blooming, my blooming front light did this. Hang on. Ah, it just spun around and started blinding me like it's now blinding you guys. Whoa, my light spun around. I'm pulling over. Huh? My light just has come loose. What? Oh! Go on, Dom, I'll follow you. Yeah. It's like it's shining in my face. Yeah, uh, but I mean, I'm sh probably my fault. I probably didn't tighten it enough. It's like a hex bolt that holds this light on, but yeah. Oh, it's a shame. That was a good little run I was on. It was. I am super gutted. I thought I was going to set... My exposure just like spun around. It's sh shining in my face. <laughs> I thought I was going to set maybe a top five PB, personal best on this trail, but I guess it wasn't to be. Now this next part of the trail, this part's all right, but this next part is where all the cold, dark puddles were. And uh, I kind of went a bit wrong here and nearly veered off into these bushes, but recovered, it was fine. A lot of deep puddles and they splash onto my socks and my legs, oh. like there. And then they run down into my shoe and my foot gets cold and wet and numb. And I got home and had a warm shower and I had to stop because my foot was in agony. Oh, my feet are wet again. And uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty dumb. I've got some waterproof socks now, so I'm going to wear those going forward. But uh, wasn't the case. I mean, I was wearing cycling socks. Don't know what makes them different to normal socks, but I bought them from a cycling store. They said they were designed specifically for cycling, so hopefully they have some merit over regular old socks. But they didn't stop my foot from getting very cold, wet and numb. That's the title of my sex tape, by the way. Yes! <laughs> yeah, left. <laughs> Just uh, uh, This is a different way to get back to the trailheads than we normally go. We normally turn right, but now we're turning yeah. left. There's that for uh, This climb is called Nora's Revenge. Shown to me by the Hardtail Rider YouTube channel. Check it out. It's quite a nice climb because it's just like this the whole way up. There's a little shout out for you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so now I'm cutting ahead to me fixing the exposure light. Uh, same thing. They're just talking about buying EVs. <laughs> I feel like I can't interrupt them. Thank you. Even though you guys aren't with the table top, or is that the other one? Even though you guys aren't privy to that conversation. Yeah, they're both the same, aren't they? So these trails are quite cool. Oh, hang on. Well, look the same anyway. There you go. Oh my God, it's boggy, isn't it? So these are called like the jungle trails. They're much more overgrown, much more windy, oh. windy, windy, windy. <laughs> uh, very overgrown, very narrow, very twisty, lots of switchbacks, but they're pretty cool trails. Uh, the uh, exits are pretty sketchy. They're very, very steep to get out of. Like they don't look it on the GoPro. They look like rubbish things, but they are very steep in real life. This isn't one of them just there. That looked like a bit of a trail exit, but it wasn't. But like these trails cross, cross the fire roads a couple of times. And when you join the fire road, it's a bit of a steep drop. Uh, not a drop off, it's rollable, but like it still feels pretty sketchy. Especially at night where there's not much visibility and when your foot is numb and your hand hurts and it's bleeding. It's snowing, isn't it? But look, it was all fine. How magical is this, guys? Remember I said it's snowing. Beautiful. Anyone from like, you know, Wisconsin or other parts of the world where it snows a lot, probably scoffing at this, but for us, this was magical. This was magical indeed. Snow is in the air. Like I say, this is the first time in like six years it snowed for me. So I was I was loving it. And it, okay, it's rubbish at the moment, but it does start snowing a bit more heavily 
as the video goes on. Get that viewer attention up, by the way. Oh, hang on. Snow, snow, snow. Oh. What a magical how time. How romantic. Exactly. See, we were all so hyped. Uh, but yeah, first time in like six years. Uh, be a second. That I've had snow. <laughs> so I was very, very excited. Oh, my foot is so numb. <laughs> But yeah, like I say, guys, not only am I going to encourage... Hang on. Oh, Dom, what you bloody done? Oh, yeah, Dom sort of stopped on the trail and, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened. I'm not really sure what happened, to be honest. Am I going to say anything? I think I'm about to say something in, like, a, a second, so let's just uh, pause. Oh, this is magical. It's just magical. <laughs> oh, there you go. Still talking about the snow. Uh, yeah, but anyway, speaking of getting viewer attention up, guys, as well as that, also... Hang Ooh, on. big puddle. Just avoid the puddle. Let's go around it. Also, you guys hyped now because been delaying this for so long. We'll prepare to be straight into this one. Well, prepare to be dis. Oh yeah, this is where the tabletop is. Yeah. Well, prepare to be majorly disappointed if I can get a word in. <laughs> um, it was just to say, please like the video. Of course, I'm trying to become a mountain bike YouTuber. Oh. I'm trying to become really famous that I get free bikes. So guys, one like gets me one step closer to getting a free mountain bike oh. from Canyon. Canyon just sponsored Sam Pilgrim. Sam Pilgrim is a mountain bike channel with like nearly two. The snow comes out on the camera, all right? It looks beautiful. Don't worry about it. it does he's got nearly two, two million subscribers? Ooh, this new. channel's got nearly twenty thousand subscribers, so they're pretty much the same. Canyon, when are you going to sponsor me? Get me a free bike. What? Yeah, Dom. Dom. Oh, yeah, Dom stopped again. This last bit—it looks rubbish on the camera, but this bit does get properly steep, and it does feel very sketchy. So I think. Uh, is everything all right? I think that's why Dom stopped. I'm not quite sure. There we are. Johnny, the force of positivity in the group. Yeah, So yeah, it really looks rubbish on the camera, but uh, it, it is quite steep, this bit. I promise you, I oh, swear. Annoying, I swear, guys, it's scary. I'm very brave. Oh, it looks so rubbish on camera. I just wanted to give Dom a moment in case he fell off. <laughs> yeah, when Dom crashes, it's quite funny because he's quite tall, so he crashes in slow motion. Hilarious. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Look at, oh, that. <laughs> Look at that drop of post speed. Oh my god, it's proper snowing now, isn't it? This, this is the, the heaviest the snow got, by the way. It stops after this. There you are. The snow has now stopped. I'll have to wait for the snow to come back. Exactly. The snow has now ended, guys. So, uh, I like that. Here we are on... I think Magical. This, I think this trail is called Rainbow. Not quite sure, but I think the Strava segment is... The reason I know half the trail name is because of Strava segments and a Facebook group I'm in, a private group that tells you the names of the trails, so... Yeah, I had to quickly Ooh, catch up because... Well, look at that. And a little poster. I didn't read it. It just said, is this your dog? What was dog? that dog sign? Was that a dead dog? It just said, is this your dog? Then there's a picture of a dog in the snow. And I'm like, is that a dead dog? Oh my gosh, but... I didn't stop and read it, so who who knows? Could be a bit nicer than that. Maybe someone could freeze, freeze frame the video and tell me, because I can't be bothered personally. Let us continue going down this magical trail. Well, it's not as magical now there's no snow, but yeah. So guys, I'm going to... Uh, hang on. You are right there? Okay. Okay, that was all I was going to say, apparently. But guys, I'm going back to Bike Park Wales in um in uh the may this year so like in five months after this no four months after this video goes live i actually know it's it's exactly five because it's the end of may so i think it's like the 20th or the 14th i don't know about five months now from this video so i want to try and get my mountain bike skills up and if i have indeed broken my hand then it needs to go oh, plaster oh right. i think you can go either way if i have broken my hand that's gonna throw a spanner in the works um, and also this one loops around. And also, I've got Kerbal Space Program 2 coming out, so we can play more video games and be more sedentary. Well, it doesn't. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get as much practice in as I can, but uh, ultimately, I'm not sure how much. But I want to do more red trails at Bike Park Wales. I only did like one or two last time because we only did blues the first day, thinking these will be good warm up trails. And we'll do red trails the second day. And then it came to the second day, and we were in a lot of pain from the first day, and we couldn't do it. <laughs> Where's Johnny? Oh yeah, Johnny went a different way and we lost him. Where's Johnny? He'll he'll come back. Don't worry, guys. Take a right. Yeah, this is you us, got it. This is there us steering him. Oh, definitely the wrong way there. <laughs> Where did you go down that big straight bit instead of um? Yeah, Where does that go? Where does it go? I didn't. I, I, I thought it just. Nowhere, good. I, I thought it just cut the corner. <laughs> I almost went down it to try and get in front of Dom, but then I'm um, glad. So uh, yeah, that was a little bit of funness, fun and excitement. <sighs> you right? 
this is the penultimate trail we do. There's one more trail after this. It's called Home Run, and there's a massive crash on the last trail. A bigger crash than what I've done so far, so get excited to laugh at my pain. Get excited to laugh at my pain. But these are fun little trails. Um, what's this? What's happening? Oh, Johnny. I'm track standing Ooh. in the mud. <laughs> yeah, we weren't sure if it was left or right. We went right. So uh, hopefully that was correct. I'm trying to think if there's anything. I've got. I don't think I have anything creative to add to this, to this, to this video. But hopefully I've added some level of interest. <laughs> I mean, would you guys hang on? Shouldn't have slowed down. <laughs> Got scared. This is rubbish, isn't it? Do you, do you guys like it when I just talk over the quiet bits, or do you guys just prefer me watching go down the trail in silence? I ain't okay. I lied earlier. Me and Sam Pilgrim were not the same. He can just talk and commentate over the entirety of a trail. I can't. I'm constantly just going in silence, trying to avoid death. And as it turns out, as evidenced in this video, I ain't the best at that even. So I kind of just do the commentary at the end over the top. But do you guys prefer this or would you prefer just silence while I do the trails and you can just listen to the, the the crinkling of the leaves, the mushing of the mud? <coughs> Great description. Uh, yeah, let me. I'd love feedback down below. Maybe. Hang on. Well, good. Nice. Exposure, full brightness. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe I should do like, uh, oh, this is the final trail, right? This is called Home Run, leads back to the car park, and that's why it's called Home Run. Yeah, maybe I could do like two versions of this video, one with this commentary, one without. Who knows if I actually ended up doing that. There'll be a link in the description if I did, but I probably won't, because I can't be bothered, just as bad as that sounds. But yeah, I was uh, going quite fast on this trail. I wanted to uh, try and set a good time. I know I, I run Strava, as I've already said. When I do these trips, I can see how fast I've done the trail, set PBs as much as I can. So I was trying to go nice and quickly. And uh, maybe that was my uh, my hubris when I crashed. Well, it wasn't this bit. It was a bit of the trail that's changed. Where, where I crashed, there's a fallen tree now. And someone's built a line over the fallen tree. But it turns out that line is very skiddy. Because it's made of logs. Which are slippery when wet. Who would have thought, right? Your roots, roots are very slippy. And what is a log if not an oversized root? Oh, sorry. Just, uh, I had to have a sip of water. I started choking on nothing. Oh, here we go, guys. This is a bit I don't like. This bit I don't like, meaning this segment of the ride that's got loads of roots, but I guess that was foreshadowing this to way? this. Oh, there we go. To this. Oh, yeah. oh, fuck. oh. oh. Uh, Yep. It's a very slippy <laughs> log, that. <laughs> Front eye hit it and just immediately just went. <sighs> oh. I'm fine, I'm just gonna get off these roots. <laughs> Let's go, boy! <laughs> I wanted to walk that bit because I wasn't sure if it was a drop or not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I decided at that point there are three. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Am I done? Oh. So, there are three jumps coming up. I went round all of them, so I'm like, you know what? <sighs> I said, you know, oh, hang on again. Oh, onto the smooth bit now. Stop interrupting me, Matt. <laughs> I said, you know what? My track record tonight has not been the best. You know, a few crashes, slips, and skids. Let's just bypass. Them. There's a jump there. Let's just bypass them. Let's just go around them. Let's have a nice, slow, steady, easy ride back to the finish line. And uh, yeah, this is quite a nice little speedy bit. Nice little flowy, bit skiddy because the leaves and the general wetness of the Can ground. I? But yeah. I, my um my front wheel just went when I went over the log. I really you have to get them perfect. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't do it on the eve because it bottomed out. I, I tested it and this one doesn't. So I just went over it. Sorry, I left you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you do the logs? No, I did the jump. Oh, come on. <laughs> I, I, I saw him stack it and I thought. Oh, oh as soon as my friend. The only reason why I did it, Don, was because I know I'm not going to bottom out. It really is. <laughs> so yeah, there we are final bit of the final trail bit sketchy now it's a bit carved out because of the winter riders like us it's because i serviced it yesterday no. so now it's rubbish <laughs> in reference to my bike being the cause of all, all my crashes this evening <laughs> uh yeah this bit's normally quite flowy but i guess all the wet mud has just let riders carve the trail out and now it's a bit Ooh. more rocky here's the uh the last bit where it did get particularly rocky particularly rooty here we go Final drop, here we are. Oh. 
Whoa, it's rocky now, that, isn't it? I think, you know, I've never been that fast in the first section of that to get over those. Oh. It's rough now, that bit, isn't it? It's rough, rocky, isn't it? that end bit. It's been carved out before the winter. Ooh. That's class. Awesome. <sighs> Here we go. Now it's just the trip back to the my cars. My track record tonight hasn't been very good, so... I feel like I already said that. This commentary. Past Matt stealing from me, future Matt. What do you know? What are your secrets? <laughs> yeah, this is the final. It's always a bit sketchy, this path out of the woods. It always feels like there's only like a big drop to the left. It's quite easy to fall down. <laughs> Whoa, that was gnarly, bro. Gnarly. Oh, that's a great word. Muddy is my bike. Bro. What tree filling and progress keep out? No, it's only between 10 and oh, 4. 9th to the 27th. Yeah. Oh. But it's all right, it's like you can still use Drake's Trail for commuting and stuff, it's just during the day. Yeah, there's a little conversation you guys probably aren't, you know, uh, don't really uh, have much. Oh, it's so muddy. Don't relate to, but yeah, the mud was all frozen oh. on. That was like iced on. My hand didn't get muddy at all, it was amazing. Holy shit, there's actual ice on my bike. It was great. And that's uh I was worried my hands are gonna get really muddy picking my bike up, but all the mud is literally frozen on. No. <laughs> I said that in the commentary just then. Well there we are. The bike is on the car. I'm cold, my foot is numb. Talking about past self now. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching everyone. Ooh. Hopefully my hands are okay. And I'll see you later.